One small step for man. We know more about the surface of the moon One giant leap for mankind. than we do about the bottom of our oceans. In a quarry in Chepstow, they want to change that. The best way to kind of go, get your training preparedness to go out into the big bad open ocean, is to test your chops here in, in our quarry. The project is called DEEP. They describe themselves as the SpaceX of the sea. This is the alien world that we need to have a better understanding for. More than half of the oxygen that we breathe, at least every other breath that we take, that oxygen comes from the ocean, not our rainforest. To protect it, we need to love it. To love something, you need to understand it. They already have small submarines. But as we're lifted out of the quarry, we get our first proper look at something much, much bigger a prototype of Sentinel, an underwater steel habitat 60 metres in length. I am literally like a kid at Christmas. Diver Phil Short gives me a tour. This hatch would lead to the transfer capsule that enables our crews to be brought down to the Sentinel and at the end of their mission taken back to surface. Right, so that's how you come in basically? That's right. Okay. When finished, the capsules will be able to be put together like Lego bricks, able to stand depths up to 200 metres. So we'd be looking out to the ocean here, would we? Yes, this is a full-scale viewport and we'd be looking straight into the ocean right now. So how do you deal with the pressure in which case? Well, Sentinel is held at exactly the same pressure as the ocean outside. Yeah. And because of that, we need to change the gas we breathe by adding a lot of helium. Right, but helium, like in a balloon, don't you get a squeaky voice? Absolutely. He's not joking. This is what saturation divers sound like. Say happy Christmas Day and have a great Christmas. Without this, divers are restricted to just minutes at the bottom and then need days to decompress. This is the moon pool. This is the place where the crew are lowered into the water and then can go out and dive for hours at a time. The final structure will be built from computer plans using 3D steel printing but there's still room for some old-fashioned engineering. Because it's so important we get the internals right on a big space like this, the quickest and easiest way to do that is just to build it in reality out of foam and plywood and other things and put people in it straight away. The idea kind of is to make the ocean accessible to scientists as well as hardcore divers. Because people will be spending up to a month uh, subsea, up down to 200 metres here, it needs to be comfortable and part of that is that it means that it needs to be big. This is a 450 metre cubed habitat. It's an um, underwater world away from the conditions in current cramped diving bells. We've got six bedrooms, uh, one for each member of the crew. You get a sense of the, the size of each of them. There's also bathrooms, a kitchen and a laboratory next to the dive area. So this is what the lift will look like in the moon pool. And if you're wondering why the water doesn't just slosh into the capsule, it's because the air pressure in here will be the same as the water pressure outside. It's very similar to if you put a cup onto the bath, push it down, the air pocket will remain inside. Being deep under the ocean isn't cheap. An undisclosed tech entrepreneur has already bankrolled the project to the tune of hundred million pounds. Many of the technologies are similar to those used in space. NASA does training underwater, and with Donald Trump announcing plans to plant the stars and stripes on the planet Mars. The team is talking to Elon Musk's SpaceX about using underwater living to acclimatize astronauts. So helium doesn't just make your voice squeaky, it also makes you cold. So we have to heat this whole place to 32 degrees just to make it feel like 21 degrees on the surface. Comfort has to be balanced with safety. Nobody has forgotten Titan, the carbon fibre sub which imploded at depth, killing all five inside. Deep, say Sentinel, which is metal, is made in a completely different way. It should be ready for testing in a couple of years, first in the quarry, then the ocean floor. Martin Stew, ITV News.